taking them seriously like we would take gang cases seriously. At 12 News Exclusive, the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office telling us enough is enough after the increase in stolen cars. It's getting so out of hand, they're now forming a task force. Last Sunday, a teen in a stolen SUV blew through a stop sign, smashing into a car and killing a Milwaukee couple. Tonight, there was a vigil at the site of the crash, 84th and Wilbur on Milwaukee's west side. Now, around 20 people lit candles and shared memories of the couple, Bernie and Tina Hansen. 12 News has learned that they work together at the DMV. Tonight, co workers describe Bernie as an all around fun guy. They are still trying to make sense of the tragedy. To take away from it is two totally innocent people lost their lives in a, a, just a senseless, senseless manner. There's, there's just no reason that this should have happened. Police estimate the SUV was traveling nearly 80 miles an hour. The 18-year-old behind the wheel is tied to at least three car thefts in the last month. 12 News, Ben Hutchison joins us now. And Ben, you've learned that the district attorney's office is now assigning a specific group to handle strictly car theft cases? Yeah, that's right, Tony. Milwaukee County Chief Deputy District Attorney Kent Lovern says car theft is a problem in Milwaukee, and those responsible for the crimes are carrying weapons and becoming more violent. So that's much more than just a, a childhood prank that's being pulled here. This is dangerous conduct that um, young people are choosing to engage in, and, it, and it's having uh, disastrous consequences for some in our community. And Lovern says there are two investigators actively working with Milwaukee police, also one prosecutor trying both adult and juvenile cases. They're looking for any links between people involved in car thefts or whether they're repeat offenders. Over the last two years, there's been a spike in the number of cars stolen. In 2013, 4,434. Last year, nearly 6,700. Alderman Terry Witkowski says it starts with people leaving their car running and unattended. I talked with the police department. They indicated that car thefts last week, 20 out of 22 were taken with the key in it. So the public's got to help themselves here. And we asked Milwaukee police for an official comment on how they're handling the recent rise in car thefts. So far, they haven't responded. Kathy?